Yep. You you love Gamescom because they talked about Starfield. It was it was I. Right. I'm gonna skip the live action trailer. I, I'm I I want to be honest with you on live action trailers too, and part of it might just be I'm not feeling great. I, I could give two shits about live action trailers. Oh, they spent a bunch of time on Starfield, and they basically showed and said nothing. They just brought Todd Howard on to be like, hey, it's Todd Howard, and then he just spewed a bunch of, like, PR bullshit, and right. I'm just like, alright, this... thanks, thanks, Todd. This is the thing like, that I got. They said it's like a gameplay game... deep dive, but... Like, the game comes it's... out in a week. But you we want to wanna... show some more, like, intricate gameplay, maybe? Like, I don't know. Like, the Starfield presentation was, like, really... Um disappointing to yeah. me because i just felt like with the game being so close it comes out in like a week or two and they showed basically nothing and i was like really you don't have anything to show yeah like, they they showed these shots of like characters in the game which i will say like bethesda for bethesda graphics these look good for bethesda graphics oh, being clear on that i mean it's much it re i mean remember the first like the first trailer for starfield it looked like shit. Like the game looked terrible. Um, Though I and will... obviously that trailer was like two years ago at this point. Yeah. So you know, two years is you know a long time. So obviously they've made it look good. But yeah, yeah. This and here's the gameplay. And I, man, it there's like there's a part of me that I was watching this. And like yeah, punching a guy and making him fly in the air, get cool, okay. But you yeah, look at the gunplay, the gun like, the actual like gunplay itself, like yeah, it's 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 nice. It's like what I would expect from a first person perspective for shooter mechanics. But man, I, I, maybe I was missing something. There wasn't a lot here that I was like, okay, you're just shooting your gun, good stuff. What else yeah, is no, there? I mean, you're just like shooting a... your gun, like. What else you got besides flying and shooting a gun? Like, this isn't anything that I would consider, like, substantial. This just looks very much what I would have expected as, like, the bare minimum I mean, of a shooting the game. The shooting mechanics, to me, look good, which is not something I can say for, like, I don't know. Like, Fallout 3, like, the shooting felt like shit in that no, game. No, Fallout 4 and 3, the shooting was not refined at all. It was not fluid. It was very choppy. You know, that that I get. So this is definitely a step up from that. But like, but I expected that. I I'm just not seeing a lot of like uniqueness there that I would have hoped for. Yeah, no, like it, any it unique looks like quality. It, it looks like a shooter, and you have it. You have a jetpack because you're a space guy. Like, yeah, which is like okay, but that's like bare minimum what I expected. I don't know. Like I'm obviously I'm not saying this that makes anything with the gameplay like the actual mechanics of of, of combat bad. Usually I'm trying to look for a secret sauce and that whole combat sequence was super like cheese pizza. It's getting the job done, it's filling you up, but it's fucking cheese pizza. It's like like it's good, I like it, but I like, like it. it's pretty it's, gener it's just generic, right? But like... it's cheese pizza, you know, there's nothing else on it. There's no secret sauce, you know, there's no there's no herb flavors. There's no nothing else. How about a mushroom? Just throw a mushroom on it or something. Give me well, something I different. I, I I wouldn't like it. If you well, you wouldn't like it, it, but but, yeah. but other people might. Like I'm just yeah. I'm looking for the secret sauce, and there's not there's none of that here. Like I can I know the secret sauce of other games that like I really like, you know, and and I really like get attached to. This one there's just nothing to me on that combat that was like yeah. No, I don't disagree. The shooting the shooting looks looks right. quite generic but looks i mean at least to me i'm like well this looks like much better shooting mechanics than bethesda's ever yes, done in the past that's so true I guess i'll give them that yes like, that's true i do give them that it is the shooting much better. In, in fallout was like jank jank as hell it was a little so, bit yeah it was like, a little bit clunky at times for sure at times it was a little bit clunky um for me as well but again like this this was my takeaway from the trailer I was just thinking, okay, like this is all a step up from what I expect from what I saw with Fall Four and Three. All a step up, which is I expected. But there's no secret sauce. There's nothing in I here. I think, or at least I'm hoping that the secret sauce, quote unquote, isn't going to exactly be like the combat or the shooting itself. It's mm -hmm. gonna be in the character like 
builds and like what weapons you're using right. and what skill like what skills yes. that you're putting in it's like the rpg mechanics should be the secret sauce exactly. of the game but the i think the combat in general is going to be pretty generic generic shooter at least that's what it looks like to me so yeah. far like, i i think that's fine too i just i do like to see like if if the secret sauce is going to be in the characters and how you can design them and like set them up for the rpg side i want that to be visible in combat as well i want it to be visible everywhere yeah. Like, and that yeah, and that's how nice it should if be. There was like, if there was like special abilities in combat that, you know, depending on right. what skills you took and, and stuff like that. And we haven't seen anything like that yet. So. Yeah, and to be clear, with with Bethesda, Bethesda is not particularly good at. How do I want to phrase this? Bethesda is not particularly. Bethesda is good with like certain things for RPGs. But the like the mechanics of crafting your character to define your entire playthrough actually isn't necessarily their strongest suit. The only game I've really felt that way was Fallout New Vegas, where like if I crafted a really charismatic character, I could feel that throughout the game when I started well, seeing choices and dialogue. I mean, options. yeah, but, but Bethesda didn't even make that. They didn't game. make that game exactly. They didn't make that. They game. didn't make that, that was game. Made by Obsidian. That was exactly. made by Obsidian. Exactly. Did, I mean, it was just it was in Bethesda's universe, Fallout, but yeah. Bethesda didn't make that. But game. they didn't make that game, right? But then the next game they made that was Fallout, like Fallout Four. You really didn't see that until you hit like combat. So they're not particularly good with the story-based experience. Of like oh like i picked a character that's really charismatic i don't necessarily feel that as much in fallout 4 compared to new vegas because bethesda made fallout 4 and new vegas was made by obsidian i'm not so sure i'm gonna get that in starfield i mean i i hope i do get the experience of like i made a really dumb like idiotic character that's just has no charisma no intelligence no wisdom whatever and like i just say brain dead things and that affects my playthrough like i'm just a big bulky brute mm -hmm. so that experience but this is not particularly good at that actually compared to to other devs like i mean like obviously let's just take Baldur's gate for example like you can make a character like your DD character in that really charismatic because you have a certain character type like a bard like a bard is a charismatic character and you should or be charming like people. You're barter, entertaining. Barter yeah, paladin. yeah. So, so that you should feel that. And if your character in Baldur's Gate is evil, like my character, and has absolutely no soul, and just says and does does things to really better themselves, you can feel that. You can do that. That experience oh, is what I'm looking for. In Baldur's Gate, you're just being a dick. You're just being a dick to everybody. You can just be a dick to everybody, or you can be like a, a complete sociopath, where. Yep. You're just like, oh, well, I'm just going to do everything to make myself feel better. Yeah, if it doesn't benefit me, if it doesn't not, benefit me, helping. I don't care. I'm not helping. I'm not right. helping unless it benefits me. If it benefits me, you can you do always that. Pick the, so you always pick the option that's like, so what do, like at the end, if you're going to accept, because like, so what do I get out of this? Exactly. Like, I'll yeah. pretend to be your friend, but yeah. I just need to know what my benefit is. So Bethesda doesn't really give you those experiences particularly well. Like Skyrim, another great example. Like, there's no experience like that in Skyrim. Because that's not really what Skyrim does well at all. It's just like Skyrim is very much just like here you go, go do whatever you want. Like Bethesda hasn't made a new game in like so long, right? And I mean, okay, I know like the last one is Fallout seventy six, but like fuck that game, I yeah. didn't play that game, and that game is like terrible. It's so, it's uh, not, and that's not I mean, an experience. For apparently, that they made it decent eventually, but it yeah. was terrible when it came out. Yep. So I'm discounting that. So the last like, the last single player game they made was Fallout four. And when did that came out? Like twenty thirteen or something? Like I don't know. Twenty thirteen, twenty fourteen, something like that. I mean. It's been basically 10 years since the last, like, single-player game that they released, yeah. so... But anyway... I I think that... I think Starfield's gonna be really good with exploration. Which is what Skyrim was good at. Yeah. And... I don't that, know if I they're mean, gonna do Bethesda much else Bethesda's generally good with that. Exactly. Like... So, that's, that's what I'm hoping the secret sauce is gonna be again. Is it's just gonna be the exploration. My hope is that maybe we can get a little bit of more, more flavor in the combat, but I... I I haven't seen that yet. Um, I'm just hoping that we the exploration is there as it should be from from their games and 
maybe we'll get something maybe we'll get something uh, a little bit spicier in other places is my hope i but guess I my question for yet. you then is are you going to play starfield when it comes out yeah i'll play it um my problem is i don't know what i'm going to play it on like i don't know if my computer is going to be able to handle this game i'd have to try it i think you can yeah. play on game pass on pc for this game i'd imagine yeah and that would be a 60 fps experience the console version is 30 fps which i'm i'm a, still a little bit surprised by um yeah so if i want 60 fps i gotta do it on the computer and i feel like i'm gonna have oh. to set my graphics pretty low to make this work alternatively I, mean, could, I could play yeah, it could... on a lap on my other i have a, like a laptop that i use for travel i could try it on that i suppose i don't know i mean you could you know it's game pass on both so you can try it on pc exactly and if it doesn't if it doesn't run well then just suck it up and just and just play it on console. F, take yeah. 30 fps on console right a point sure is... it'll, it'll run fine it'll just be 30 fps yeah. right on consoles so. my point is i just I, I have to figure out what i'm going to play it on but my plan was to play day one but i'm not going to be live streaming it or anything like that i'm probably just going to play it on my own yeah i can't live stream that game like i it's also, not we, we didn't talk about this, and I didn't realize until I looked into it, because I'm not buying the game. I'm going to yep. play it on Game Pass as yep. well. But they're, they're, they did the uh, Diablo 4 thing with this game, yep. where like, if you buy one of the collector's editions, you yep. get like four or five days early access. You get five days months, early so, access. But, you you know. get five, which, yeah. like which September is... September 1st, I think, is the early access yeah. day. September 6th is the actual release day. Yeah, I and I got to be honest, I'm not vibing with that at all, yeah. actually. I, I I'm... For Diablo's case, I think it was like three days. For Diablo's case, for three days, I was lukewarm on it. I don't know what it is, but when you hit a certain threshold of days of early access, yeah. I don't know what it is. It just starts to bother me. You got the you got the season one battle pass along with the Diablo one as well, mm -hmm. which was like a little bit more. So I don't you know. got you got something there as well. There's something about pushing a week of early access period that really starts to bother me yeah i don't know what it is it's starting to bother me like five days i don't think i've ever seen five days of early yeah, access that's, period that's pretty long usually that's pretty like long or, usually it's like two or three exactly days, like that. and it also concerns me because i'm like okay they're pushing five when are we gonna get like a week like oh you can play a week early like what, what? one month early access it's just like when does it next? stop guys like, like you gotta stop when does it stop you at some point you have to like draw the line and for me i think two to three days i was lukewarm on five days i'm really like drawing a line on it that's yeah. it you gotta that's stop doing this guys like it's 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 really starting to bother me um obviously i'm not gonna get that version to start five days early i don't see any value in it for me but I'm not I'm not playing this until I until I go home because I don't have an Xbox right. and I don't I'm almost certain my laptop won't be able to handle it so yep um I'm waiting until I get home to play uh, Starfield but I do want to try it as well yeah assuming when the reviews and you know when I watch other people play it that it doesn't look like absolute dog but you know I can't imagine it's gonna be dog water kind of thing. I imagine it's going to be somewhere between like an eight. It's going to be like an eight to an eight point five is what I imagine is going to get reviewed. Yeah. Um, I'm just looking through the rest of the games comments list, and I got to be honest, there were a couple of things I pegged out here. I, I'm not really an Alan Wake person, but I know that no, there's I'm, Alan Wake two coming out. People, people are excited for we that. We talked about Diablo, so we're just I'm just going to keep going on that. Mortal Kombat's a really big item for for the fighting game community. Yep. Uh, revealing some more characters um i i i gotta be honest this caught my attention immediately as soon as i scrolled by this before this oh, bear. freaking bear like this is also a big one for the fighting game community coming out uh january i did watch the assassin's creed mirage one which is coming out october 5th it, it was it's just bosom talking Bossom, whatever his name, however to pronounce it. I, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. It's just him talking about, you know, his his experience here, and, and this is Baghdad. So this game, I think they had said was going to be more aligned with the older Assassin's Creed game type. 
Less Which RPG-ish. Is like, it's weird to me because, like... Like, they changed the formula because people got tired of the old Assassin's Creed and they're like, well, we'll just go back. We'll just we'll go, go back, back to the for old this one. one. Like, I think for this one, it might be okay. I think it's okay if they if they don't stick to a new formula every time. Yeah. As long as they take the old formula and refine it more to be more fluid and less icon, like... Yeah. samey it became too samey in the old <sighs> formula and now the new rpg formula is becoming too bloated in my opinion odyssey was like a lot valhall is so bloated I i'm like this is way too long for for what it should have been it that game is way too long it like you could get 40 hours into that game and feel like you really aren't making as much progress as you think at times and you're just doing the same shit over and over again i'm kind of glad they're going backwards in this case maybe they'll refine this a bit and and i'll get a little bit more of the older experience again i don't know why but in this case i'm okay with this the rpg formula that they tried to do they they just made it way too bloated i'm hoping this is like one of those 25 out like 20 25 hour game it's a story like it's a full story that's very very focused is what i want actually valhalla is not focused at all it's a shit show so i'm hoping they go back and be more focused yeah. is what i'm looking for anyway uh there's a cyberpunk uh cyberpunk 2.0 yep um sonic games again I, i'm I'm scrolling by these, but I'm sure somebody's like super excited for Sonic Frontiers: The Final Horizon. Quanta, uh, Quantic Dream announces Dustborn. This is a quant, a Quantic Dream published game. It's developed mm. by somebody else, so it's developed yeah. by Red Thread Games. It's not a Quantic Dream game like Heavy yeah. Rain and uh, Detroit. Oh, Detroit Human. Become Human. It's not that. So that that confused me when I first saw this because the gameplay of this, it's it looks like actually more of an action game because you can see there's combat. That's not really yeah. a Quantic Dream game. So I'm like, okay, this yeah. clearly isn't a Quantic Dream game. So what's going on? Um, so that's I just wanted to clear that up because I feel like that was very confusing when I first walked uh, swat, uh, scrolled by this. This is uh, thank goodness you're here, which is. Um, a new game behind Untitled Goose Game. This is a journey to watch. I watched this. This is a freaking journey to watch. I feel like I understand what it's like to, to be on hard drugs at this point. This is a trip. It is such a weird thing to watch. The actual gameplay of. Like I'm... The whole time I'm watching it, I'm like... What the hell is going on? You've got this little character that I'm guessing you're playing as. Yeah. And there's every there's all this stuff in the world. And I'm just like wow. It is like there's so much to look at. And there's so much happening. It's it's overwhelming when I watch it. Just seeing all this stuff. So this this like super caught my attention really strange like game to see the trailer of like super strange which i'm sure is right down plenty of people's alley who liked untitled yeah. goose game this is like right down that alley of like if you like just the weird vibrant but like really out there game i think this is going to be for you it's very strange looking um, little nightmares Black Myth Wukong. Um, I didn't watch this trailer, but I know there are people who are excited for this game. Marvel Snap. Looks like, oh. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't... Yeah, Wukong looks like an interesting, like, third-person action game. Might be fun. I don't know. I don't know if they put any... But yeah, it looks... I mean, like, it looks... Visually, it looks really nice. Yeah, it does. That's where I think people were, were excited about the game. For me, I just... You know, it looks really nice. Marvel Snap snapping snapping past it snapping past 
Warhaven, a medieval fighter game. Looks oh, it's it's one of these like sixteen on sixteen Memories. style games. I I need to see it really quickly just to see what the gameplay looks like. I don't think they showed much. Oh, they didn't show gameplay. Yet. Okay, because I know there's like some of these medieval games, those sixteen v sixteen ones. You just you kind of it's just like a it's just mayhem, like it's just chaos of people just attacking each other, um, which is like. They're kind of interesting to watch, but not down my alley, uh, really. Uh, you got your weeb game, so you're satisfied. You're good now. The one thing I'll say about this is that, like, it is odd to me that with Grand Blue, maybe it has a big enough following. I'm not sure. I you know haven't played any of the. I know Grand Blue is originally a mobile game, right? Mm -hmm. Like a gotcha game or something along those lines. Um, and they have the fighting game. Yeah, they um, do. They have a fighting game. But I maybe it's popular enough but like this game releases i don't remember the same day or like the day after persona and that to me is like suicide like for a jrpg it releases the day before persona 3 releases oh shadow versus also grand blue i didn't know that oh, oh it is interesting i yeah because it's side games Yeah, this feels like a weird choice to release it. Maybe, I mean, you know, maybe they didn't know, but this yeah, feels like it's it, gonna really take a, it's gonna take away from it. Releasing at the same time as Persona seems like a bad decision. It, it seems like we'll a really tough decision. I mean, maybe JRPG. I don't know. JRPG people are pretty hardcore. Like, you know, I'll probably play both, but I know what's taking priority, and that's gonna be Persona. Like interesting style of game anyway so you're good now you got your gamescom film uh phil with with this this is this is more than enough you can only have so many of these you know jrpg games and these things you know like you can only have so much uh nightingale i'm not going to show the, the gameplay of it this, this was on my radar i forgot why it was on my radar specifically type of it's, game is this it's an mmo Oh, I don't it's know. like a steampunk I think, kind of oh, yeah. MMO. It, it looks interesting. It was on my radar. I'm not saying I'm like really hardcore into it or anything like that. It just looks really interesting. And that's yeah. why it was on my radar. It's got like that. It's got an interesting, interesting look to it. But this is a I'm I'm fairly certain this is this is an MMO game. Um also look at this. Look at that. They took gliding straight from Breath of the Wild. Can't yep. believe they did that. Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild copy. What a clone! Trash. What a Trash. clone! Copying clone. Breath of the Wild like How that. How dare they? How dare they put put a glider in the game? Unbelievable. Um, Crimson Desert. Was this the game that had like that one trailer? Yeah. That was like that three was like, FPS. That, that was like three FPS. Three FPS. Yeah. FPS. I yeah, hope that, I hope that this trailer is more no, than the three. F, the F, the F, the FPS was much improved. I didn't see any FPS issues in, in this new. In the My trailer. God, they learned. They're like shit. We can't do that again. Yeah, this looks much better. What is this though? It's a. Yeah, I don't know what the game is like. Sword I don't combat? think it's an. I don't think it's an MMO because it's. I mean, it's from the people who made Black Desert which is an MMO, but I don't think this one's an MMO. This, this doesn't look like it. It looks like a single-player game. What an interesting game. Okay. Well, I'm glad they called it Crimson Desert. You know, not to confuse it with Black Desert, right? It's very clear. Yep. Bulletstorm VR Gamescom opening night live trailer. Bulletstorm VR. Bulletstorm. What? Kurt, was there like a calling for Bulletstorm VR? I don't know. That game came out. It came out twelve years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. What a weird. Maybe I'm just missing the cult following a Bulletstorm. Um, Age of Empires Four Anniversary Edition. 
cool. Age of Empires 4 is a, is a cool game. Killing Floor. Armored Core launch trailer. We talked about that. Last Epoch. Official Rune Master. The crew. Fort Solus. I'm skipping by these. You gotta tell me when we should if we should stop. I, None of I these are care. super I, interesting I, to me. I don't care about any yeah. of these. So. Genshin Impact. Honkai Lords, Star Rail. Lords okay, Lords of the Fallen is funny to me because I and I don't know if it's the same company, but there was literally a game that was called Lords of the Fallen. That was it was like a soul it was a souls like and yep. it flopped really it flopped really hard. I don't remember exactly when it came out between 2015 and 2020 sometime um and it feels like i don't know if they're just like rebooting it or could be a whatever, reboot but yeah it could be a reboot unleash the darkness unleash the darkness Unle is that really god that's such unleash. a generic that's such a freaking generic yeah like, that's uh, one of those chat gpt line. marketing lines that somebody's like we need to get something we don't have anybody in the marketing department just throw it in gpt fuck it the original Lords of Fallen actually so sold well, but no one liked it. Maybe they're just rebooting it. Who knows? It's it sold well because people are like, oh, it's a Souls like, so everyone freaking bought it. And then they're like, wait, no. this game kind of sucks. Let's wait, this game no. kind of sucks. Genshin and Honkai. Yep, Genshin and Honkai and, and ZZZ, Zenless Zone Zero, lol. Payday okay. 3. I know some people were definitely looking forward to that. Delta Force. What is Delta Force? Why have Generic. I. Generic. Military Generic shooter. military shooter, okay. Homeworld 3, uh, Mandragora, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, and Our History Untold. I mean, we skipped through a lot of stuff here, but yeah, I, none of this stuff really vibed with me when I, when I was looking Our, through. Uh... Ara, Ara, I am interested in because that's a. Uh, is that a four X? It's a. They're calling it grand strategy, but yeah, it's in the in the realm. Um, an interesting. This game was announced. We talked about this before. This game was announced at last year's Xbox E3. Uh huh. That's cool. Um, and they had a couple of technical alphas, I think in the fall or winter. Uh, so like late last year and early this year. Mm hmm. And then it's kind of been radio silent since then. It's weird. I, I, this is one of those games where, like, so it was at Microsoft's conference last year. And in that conference, they originally said that everything in that conference was going to be out within the next 12 months. Which, obviously, they didn't hit on that. And that's yeah. fine. But this game, at the end, it just, it doesn't even give a release date. It's just 2024. So it's like... Man, did they miss the mark on when they thought this yeah, was going to be. Yeah, huge out. miss like, on that. Huge miss. Or they just wanted to make sure it was in, in. I don't know. Maybe they were just like, let's just put this in here because we want to show it. I know that they said they already added, like, these all come out in the next 12 months. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe they just had that in there because they wanted to show it. I, I don't know. Who knows? Um, is this more along the lines of, like, civilization and humankind? Looks It, it looks like really interesting because like i see i see like elements of some some of that with like getting your leader and their traits and things like that but yeah and like this ma yeah. this leads me to believe it looks like that so i'm like interesting i don't know i'm it's interesting looking is what i have to say I'm just not yeah, sure what it is. We don't really know a lot about it. It's definitely like a historical esque for X. Yeah. Because you're seeing like you know, historical leaders as like supposedly like you know leaders that you can pick as that you can pick to play as like George yep. Washington was one of them obviously. Yeah. Um. But I've heard I don't know rumors or things about that like, and I don't know how this is gonna work that but that like it's not necessarily all gonna go like how history usually does and there may be like weird like things in the game and again i don't know how it works where certain things develop earlier than they normally do and like mm -hmm. there's some weird like timey wimey bullshit that goes on yeah um 
in the game. Um, yeah, there seems to be like a sort of like territory esque system, like humankind did, where you like build certain thing, like you know improvements and stuff within the territories, from what I've seen. But <clears throat> none of the stuff they've talked about has been really, uh, really specific, so we don't really know how it works. Okay. Um, they had a video on their YouTube channel that they released this week um, that talked about combat a little bit, but they didn't really sh they didn't show anything. They just kind of talked about it. Oh, okay. But it sounds like combat is gonna work more like in like Crusader Kings or like Europa Universalis, where you like put armies in a territory and they just kind of like auto fight each yeah, other. And they it's, just and yeah. it's about and it's about like reinforcing and then like count like using certain units to count like counter things and like yep. stuff like that yep. so and terrain but it's not it's not gonna be like humankind or civ combat where you have like direct control of your units it's like it's an auto combat thing where you like you know it's how many units you have versus how many units they have and then the types of units and like the terrain is gonna matter yep and, yep um stuff like that but they also said there's gonna be like you can actually watch like they'll have like a cinematic camera so you can like watch actually how the battle played out instead yep. of it just being like numbers on the screen like in uh like in crusader um, kings crusader, King, crusader yep. kings or got it or, or europe i mean that's what we're we're seeing on the screen right here that's probably yep. just that cinematic combat um okay i mean sounds so, interesting yeah, yeah. it's it's on it's on my radar we don't know a lot about it yeah um yet it's been in development for a while it's developed by a as far as i know a relatively new studio called oxide games um and from what i've heard um i don't know if it's the whole team but at least some of the people who are working on this game were some of the big minds behind like civ 5 oh. so um so some people that work on civ 5 are making this game got it um so and civ 5 was very well liked in yep. general um I know there's a big portion of the Civ community that like loves Civ Five but didn't really like Civ Six. So yeah. Got it. Okay. So we went through obviously all this list of Gamescom stuff and we, we skipped through a lot of it of course, but um I think we touched on the main ones that we were at least looking at looking at and interested in. I mean the big thing obviously from this is Starfield comes out in less than a week for the early access people. So we're going to yep. get to see some stuff. I would imagine we're going to see things from... The, the interesting thing will be, when will we start to see reviews? Are we going to see it at the early access period or before then? Or are we going to see it when the game officially releases for everybody? Uh, I, I would hope we would get them at the very least during the early access right, period. Right, that's what I'm thinking too, um, yeah. If not before, the, actually before the early access period right. starts. So so we'll, we'll get a sense of the game by... My hope is we get to at least see reviews by the 31st. Yeah. That's my hope. So we'll know more about the game just visually being able to see people live streaming it or doing videos on it starting um, September 1st. And for anybody that's actually waiting to play it, past that early access period you know you'll get your hands on the sixth that's really the big thing right now that's coming out yep. or for at least the next you know next month, month that i can so, see yeah. so it'll be interesting to see the the response from that game it'll be interesting to see how the game you know plays looks and feels obviously this game this game got pushed you know back so we'll see how it how it ends up on, uh, on release day, particularly on September 1st, when we actually get to see the game. So, let me just jump back over here real quick. Any other